I should be comforted by the fact that my feet aren't gonna get out, but I'm freaked out. I like it. You do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like it? What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And before we get into today's video, two things really quick. If you guys can hit that like button, it really does help support the channel and we really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for all of the support. And the other thing is we do wanna thank today's video sponsor, Competitive Cyclist. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a little bit. With that being said, let's get after the video. Eww. If you ever paid attention to our bike builds, you probably know that we run flat pedals. Currently, we have been loving the Crank Brothers Stamp 7 flat pedals and overall, we just feel super safe playing around on the bike and trying new features while not being clipped in. A lot of our progression feels like it comes from running flat pedals, but for this video we are trading in our flat pedal shoes for some clipless ones and seeing what the hype behind being clipped in is all about. So join us as we become one with the bike and scare ourselves a bit with our new pedals. tell we have made it to Crank Brothers HQ. Got a bunch of gear, got the kook, bunch of shoes. You guys are probably wondering what are you guys doing here? Well it is time for us to finally try clipless pedal. I used to ride clips and now I'm flats and it's been a long time since I've ridden clips on the mountain bike. I ride on my gravel bike but on the mountain bike it's been a really long time so I'm really nervous. I hope I don't crash or something. <laughs> Let us know in the comments you guys what do you guys run? Flats or clipless and why? This is gonna be really interesting, but yeah, let's uh, go meet the crew and see what it's all about. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Dude, can I can I do the coffee while you film or not? Yeah, you're more than okay. <laughs> These Italian style espressos? Nespresso. It's a son of the globalization, oh. but it tastes good. So gas has become a little bit of a YouTube legend. Tell me a bit about yourself. No, I'm not a YouTube legend. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I work here at Creme Brothers since eight years and I just try to help the company to make great products. I'm Sebastian. Uh, I've been with Crank Brothers for a little over three years. And uh, yeah, I'm brand specialist and kind of the technical guru a little bit here. Now, and you're also vegan as well. I am vegan, yeah. So if we, we got two now. It's <laughs> looking pretty good for us. Actually, three. <laughs> oh, three. Yeah. Yeah, what was your name? AJ. I work with OE customers, I uh, manage a little bit of our e-commerce program, I work on our website, that type of thing. Any dietary preference for when we go over to Gas's mom's house? Uh, anything with meat. I'm oh, good. there yeah. we go. Okay. I have to have yes. on, eh? <laughs> Definite carnivore, for sure. Another one of our favorite Italians, how are you doing? Good. I'm Matteo. I work in Grand Brothers since seven years, and my wife is vegan now. So oh my actually, god! My yes. final part of the she's, she's vegan when she eats at home, but when she goes out, she's not vegan. When she can choose, she's becoming vegan. So what makes Crank Brothers so special? Our continued desire to get better every day. And, uh, and to improve every rider experience. I think the team of people and everybody's driving the, in the same direction of, like I said, making better, making every ride uh, better than the one before. So, and being all united and really chasing the same goal is what uh, makes the difference. It really does feel like family. Like that's probably the biggest thing. I've been here for nine years. Um, so it's just awesome to be here with a great group of people. I don't want to say a lot of the same thing, but of course our team is special for sure. Um, so I think having a, a really smart group and also a really passionate group makes it really special with Crank. And for you, clipless or flat pedals? Clip in or flat pedal? Clip in Clip or in. flat pedal? Oh, we changed it. <laughs> <laughs> he got corrected here. <laughs> flat. I'm a flat pedal guy. I'm clip in. Pretty, yeah, I'm, I'm clip in. That's how we learned how to ride. Definitely clip in pedals more stability when you're going downhill, more power transfer when you're going uphill. Uh, clip in primarily. I do ride flats to jib around and have fun, but clip in primarily. I started with clips and now I'm flats. For your fans, that's a toe clip pedal. Oh, that's, is, that, is that making a comeback in the Crank Brothers line? No, I don't no, think so. Don't. <laughs> Back in the day, there was a, a clip, to, they, there were the clip toe pedals. Basically, you are putting your foot inside this little cage and when I removed the cage, that's when uh, they created the clip mechanism. That's why they call them clipless because you didn't ah. have the toe clip anymore. So it kind of looks like we're going shopping right now. There's a lot going on. What are we going to be wearing right now? Is this me or is this is this me? I, I like that color. This is Hannah. Uh, oh, of so, course. Uh, for the ladies get the colors. <laughs> we got Hannah on the mallet shoe here and then setting her up with some mallet E pedals, short spindle, usually 
and the women have a tighter waist, so we put a little bit tighter pedals. And then for yourself, we got the Mallet E long spindle. Oh, um, sweet. Usually for bigger riders. Uh, you can see the spindle difference there. And then we got you on the Mallet E shoe. Oh, uh, cool. With uh, speed lace, which is pretty nice. Cleats down there. I don't really understand where these are gonna go, so we're gonna have the experts show us what's going on here. If you're more gravity-oriented rider, then typically you might wanna slide that cleat backwards for a little bit more support. Uh, if you are more focused on pedaling efficiency, then you typically want to slide that cleat up towards the ball of your foot. But a lot of it is personal preference. When you're clipped in, um, our pedal brand is actually the only style of pedal where your, your shoe actually makes contact with the pedaling platform. So it's not your cleat resting on the pedal, but it's actually your shoe tread resting on the platform around. That's why that Mallet E and the Mallet DH feel so good on gravity, because you're getting that full contact between the shoe and the pedal instead of just the metal cleat with the uh, clip-in mechanism of other pedal brands. Yeah, sometimes you may need to go a little bit taller. It's a good trail, man, because, man, your feet always try to blow off on rockets. Yeah, I know. It'll be perfect for there. Yeah. After playing around a bit and trying to get the hang of being clipped in on the mountain bikes, it was time for some real practice on the trails. So we headed up to the top of the world here on Laguna Beach. Hey guys, hopefully you're enjoying the video. Just want to take a quick second to thank today's video sponsor, and that is Competitive Cyclist. Now, if you are not familiar with Competitive Cyclist, they are one of the largest online bike shops out there, and they are awesome. They have so many rad brands to choose from. Their inventory is insane. Normally, not only do they carry a product, but they have it in stock, ready to ship to you as well. The other cool thing is they have gearheads on standby 24 seven to help out with all of your gear related needs. So if you get on the website, you're browsing for product, you run into some issues, they're there to help you out in the bike buying or component buying process. The cool thing is their Crank Brother inventory is insane. They have so many awesome products from that lineup. So whether you're looking for wheels or you're looking for pedals or you're looking for shoes, they will get you guys taken care of. We really enjoyed trying in the Crank Brother clipless system in this video. You'll see a lot more of that footage to come soon. But if you are ever in the market for anything bike related or component or bike itself, be sure to check out Competitive Cyclist. The other cool thing is we do have a coupon code for you guys. It's awesome MTB 15 and that will get you guys 15% percent off your first order with competitive cyclists certain exclusions do apply they are awesome they really do help support the channel and we really do love working with them because not only do they provide great customer service once again inventory in this day and age is really tough to come by and they normally have you covered so yeah huge thank you to competitive cyclists for sponsoring today's video with that being said let's go ride some clipless pedals Ew. All right, you guys, so we did make it to top of the world. This is a legendary spot for our first clipless ride. This should be really interesting. We got a solid crew with us though, so let's check in with everyone and see what bikes they're riding too, because these things look really rad. Who do you think tips over first, you or me? Um, Probably you, because you're probably not going to be paying attention to it. <laughs> that is 100% true. But my mind's going to be focused on it the entire time, for sure. How you doing, AJ? Doing good. Doing good. A little sweaty from that climb. I'm going to ask you, how many times do you get the joke your fork is on backwards? <laughs> you know, so far, none, actually. Oh, but I broke I, it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my setup, uh, it's a Norco Range, the new one. Uh, it got released last year, and it's been it's been great. Um, I guess almost closest to a downhill bike you can get. Uh, 170 rear, 180 front. It's feeling a little sketchy. <laughs> Isn't it? It's not the shoe or the pedal's fault. Don't get me wrong, Crank Brothers, but... And do you guys ever run flat pedals? On my dirt jump bike. Yeah. And we do sell an easy release cleat, which is 10 degrees. Yeah. Which allows you to come out a little earlier angle. Oh, cool. Yeah. But yeah. so these are standard, um, a more aggressive release? Yeah, I mean, you can get even more aggressive with it if you actually swap the cleats. It's a 20 degree angle. Let's not do that. So, yeah. <laughs> so, but, but most people, when you get used to it, it's, it's, it's actually nice because you don't prematurely unclip. Which yeah. Is nice. Yeah, premature unclipping is never a good thing. <laughs> We're heading to, I'm trying to clip in. So I will say it's pretty easy to clip in, clip out. And, oh, gotta focus. A lot of ruts. Oh my God. It's just so different. It's the weirdest thing. What I am kind of concerned about is corners like this. Like I would put a foot out there and I don't have the motion down just yet. We're getting there. Nice. The chunk is starting. I'm so nervous. <laughs> right down here. Oh no, the rock garden is coming up. I'm so nervous, guys. 
Oh man. Woo! Through here. Infamous rock garden following the kook. Oh, what line is she taking? <sighs> nice, Hannah. Oh wow. Oh my god. So controlled. This is insane. Woo! Right down here. Oh, it is still bumpy as ever. My feet aren't going anywhere. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, this is insane. What the heck? Dude, that was a trip. Nice, not getting your feet blown My up. feet didn't bump off at all. Nice. How was it? Oh, no. I'm used to it. Oh, Hannah's not used to it just yet. I can't find the words right now. You don't have to focus on your feet so much, and then you can really worry about your balance fore and aft to get yourself in the right space to have traction better. You yeah. Know? So it's less thinking about your feet in the right placement and more worried about where your center of balance is, you know, yeah. which is nice. Now, what if you have no balance? Then, then <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta work on that for sure. I don't know, I'm trying to like get a feel for it still, but coming down the rock garden, I felt good because I felt like my feet were gonna go anywhere, but at the same time, that freaked me out. So it kind of got a little mental for me. I got kind of worried like, oh, if I need to put a foot out, like it's gonna be a little bit awkward. Clifton, <laughs> all ready to go. Thank you. Wait, no, I'm not clipped. Okay, I'm take, I'm Clifton. Take number two. Oh boy. Oh, it's like, I should be comforted by the fact that my feet aren't gonna get out, but I'm freaked out. Phew. What's going on with my chain? So interesting. I like it. You do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like it? Hannah might, Hannah might need a little bit more adjusting. I don't know. This next feature though, this should be really interesting. The infamous rock up and over. Okay. What do we got? Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh. <laughs> There's no stopping for it. Does Hannah have it? Oh, nice. Oh no, I'm not gonna tip over. <laughs> I feel like so many riders out there go straight to clipless. They don't do 10 years on flats and then clipless. So pretty interesting transition right now. Nice, Hannah. Couple of really fun corners through here. And then through the chunk. This is my favorite part is you don't think. You just roll. That's been the most awesome part. Oh my God, all the chunk. I wonder if I'm gonna clip out accidentally. I'm not trying to put it in the universe, but so many bumps here. Going right through, bump, bump, bump. Nice. Ah, so interesting. Woo, sweet, guys. So weird, you're just stuck to your bike. <laughs> nice. um, I think I'm still more comfortable on the flats, but I think in a couple of rides, I might get the hang of them, so. Well, we'll see. I see the, the benefit, <laughs> I see the benefit. Especially on jumps, that's a lot more fun. So. Things are getting serious, we're on stair steps trail. And this one is definitely gnarly. Oh my God. I really don't want a lot up here. Nice, Hannah. Woo. Oh shoot, we are going fast. The infamous water fall section. Oh, what do we got here? Following Hannah's line. All right, Hannah, lead us to safety. Nice. Awesome. Oh, this is sick. Sweet. It's like, oh my God. This is nuts. It almost makes the trail easier. Good. I think I'm getting a hang of it. It'll, you just stay glued to the bike. Yeah. What is, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, wait for me. I got to clip in. That's the only thing I need to get used to. But I'm starting to realize where it is. And I feel like it's just an adapting thing. Overall though, I feel like confidence wise, definitely improved. Oh, there we go. So interesting not having your feet kind of kick up at all. It's gonna get chunky here. No issues whatsoever. Through the bumps. I just don't have to think about my feet. It's so freaking rad. Woo! <laughs> oh my God. Boom. 
Oh, that was interesting. So you have more confidence. I feel I, like I have more confidence. I have less confidence. Really? Yeah, I didn't expect that. I feel like I'm constantly worried about my shoe coming out of the pedals. Huh. So maybe it's the way I'm riding because I'm still trying to put pressure down like they are flat pedals and I kind of need to just like float a little bit more. And I will say, like I was saying earlier, these pedals feel so much better than the XDs. So sorry, Shimano. There but you go. They didn't even pay her to say that. <laughs> <You're> not. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I'm kind of on the opposite spectrum. I actually feel like I have so much more control of what's going on. It's almost like I don't have to worry about where my feet are and I can get that last bit of travel. With the flats, I'm kind of always worried at that last bit that I am gonna get bucked, especially in a chunkier section. So it kind of feels like I'm getting in above my head, like I can really throw down a serious pace. And I've, yeah, you guys know me, I'm kind of anti Shimano Pro Ceram, so I'm gonna go with the Crank Pros on this one too. Whew.